Hi there and welcome to this short video having a look at order boundaries in more detail. With CMC Markets, when you execute a trade, we have what's called automated execution, which means when you click confirm, we will try and execute you at, the, at that price or the next available price if you're in a fast moving volatile market. So that means we manage to restrict the number of order rejections that can be possible with other providers. Now for most clients, that's exactly the type of execution that they're after, but for some, there might be a very specific um, market order price they want to be executed at and that is where boundary orders come in. It allows you to have greater control over your execution than ever before. First of all to enable boundaries you have to click on enable in the order settings area. I'm going to close this ticket down and when you'll notice that when I open up a new one now there'll be an extra button attached. So you'll notice right here boundary points and um, what this allows you to do is it allows you to stipulate uh, how the maximum distance between your screen price and your execution price that you're willing to accept. Now this here is called, this is your, your, kind of your screen price that you've got here. By the time you click confirm that trade has gone through, sometimes your execution price can be slightly different. And what boundary orders allow you to do is to control the maximum distance that you're willing to accept between your screen price and your execution price. For example, if I set that at 0 0.1, that would mean that if I tried to click confirm right now, if the execution price is more than 0.1 points away from what is visible on here, it would reject the trade. Okay, now in a fast moving volatile market, that can be quite tough because if you're trying to get in at a specific point and uh, the market moves more than 0 0.1, it's just gonna keep on rejecting your trade. But again, for some traders, they wanna be very, very specific about what they do. So if I type in 0, 0.0, that effectively means if my execution price is not exactly the same as what's on screen, it will reject the trade. Okay, so it's a very useful tool for those who wanna control their slippage and have that ultimate control over their execution. It's also possible to set order boundaries for stop entries. Works exactly the same way. As you see, you just set your stop entry level right there and then select your boundary price. So you can see if I change that to point two, uh, in this instance here, you can see that it's been updated to be to be reflective of that new uh, boundary point. If you don't want to add a stop entry and you've got it enabled, simply click on the X button. So it's very easy to add or take away boundaries, a lot of flexibility right there. You notice here, this is actually my pending orders butter. You can see I've already set a stop entry buy order right here. And uh, the fact that there's a boundary price is indicative of the fact that it's got a B in brackets right next to it. And if you want to update and amend any of these pending orders, and to have boundaries attached, simply click in there and type in the level that you're after and it will be added as so. And that's how easy it is to set boundary orders on your account.